Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. Now on this show, I like to share simple, smart strategies that have helped me to create the success I have in my business and helped my clients to create success in theirs. We cover mindset, strategy, and how to take inspired action to get you to the results that you crave. Now, if that sounds good, I would love you to subscribe. And if you listen to this and you want even more goodness from me, then head over to gwent.co forward slash growth to read my case study from zero to multi six figures or gwent.co forward slash habits for my guide on the success habits you can start today. Now, let's crack on with the show. So, the topic I want to talk about today is not doing things the same as everybody else, doing things differently, not going with the norm. Because here's the thing, right? Everyone's doing the same bloody thing. It gets so dull and so boring. Like the Facebook news feed and Instagram, I'm, I'm pulling my hair out. Like the same thing, the same cookie cutter models, the same stuff. You know, I know it's um, a lot of people are teaching those things so that people kind of end up doing exactly the same thing as them. Um, and it just creates, it creates the same and we get lost in a sea of same. Nothing stands out. And also I think what it does is it makes people do what's not right for them. You know, you got to do what's right for you, um, what feels right for your values, your personality, your business, your ideal paying clients. Um, and so all this kind of copying creates really vanilla businesses that are really diluted. Um, and so I've been thinking a lot. And, you know, my background has always been in innovation. I worked for an innovation consultancy for a number of years. And so I've always thought innovatively. Um, to my detriment, because a lot of the time I'm constantly being creative and coming up with new ideas to improve things or or launch something brand new, and it and it's like, oh, God, I've just got to stop, <laughs> stop launching new things. Um, but it it does allow me to kind of think of different ways of doing things, and that is the stuff that makes us stand out. And for me, it's not about coming up with the shiny new thing or the new way of doing something i mean let me let's be honest there are very few new ways of of doing things there are no new ideas like there are just a different way of packaging it a different way of doing it right but if you do it in a way that's absolutely aligned with you so if you break the norm and do things your way that feels in absolute integrity to you that absolutely aligns with your values that's when you start to stand out. That's when you start to feel different from all the other people online. And it's not about coming up with some crazy difference. It's about doing what feels right for you. And I did something actually um, this week that I announced to my Elevate Mastermind members, um, which is something I've been thinking about for the last couple of months. And I mean, I'm introducing something really new into my Elevate Mastermind that they haven't had before. It's very different for a mastermind to have this. And I've actually, you know, the way that I originally thought I was going to run this element of, of um, Elevate was similar to what people normally do. And it didn't sit well with me. It made me just think, I don't know if I want to do that. And I spoke to a few people. I spoke to my mentors and I spoke to other people. And it was interesting. A lot of, I had a couple of responses were like, yeah, but well, that's kind of just not the way it's done. Which makes me go, yep, I know. That's why I want to do it. Um, and a few people were like, yeah, but you're going to lose money. Like, you should be charging for that. And I was like, nope, doesn't feel good for me. Don't want to do that. And so I just had this niggling idea of what I wanted to do and lots of people were saying no don't do it because of those reasons and in the end I was like fuck it I'm going to do what I think I should do what feels right for me and I announced it this week to my Elevate Mastermind members and there were tears 
there were tears that I was doing this for them. And for me, in that moment when I shared it, I was like, it's the right decision. It's absolutely the right decision. Because I'm not here to make loads more money and to use things to constantly monetize. Like I'm here to serve. Like My mission is bigger than money. Like My mission is to help women turn their lives around with a successful business. It has been for the last three years. So for me, if I align with that mission, it's not about money. Yes, of course, I need to earn money. Yes, of course, I want to grow my business to seven figures. But it's not, that's not the core of it for me. The core of it is me showing up and, and achieving that mission and impacting people's lives and helping as many people as I can and serving. So this idea I had was aligned with my mission, not aligned with how people do things. And when I went with it, even though I knew I'm probably going to lose some money here, the reactions I got from my members in my mastermind told me everything that I needed to know. Cause it was like, oh, they're actually crying. Like, wow. And, you know, and I'm going to publish some of the responses um, from some of them. Cause I think, you know, we need to think about that. Like the, re the, the effects that we have on people, we're not just here to make money. We're here to change freaking lives and to make a difference. And for me, you know, I want to have a ripple effect. My business has an amazing ripple effect because if I can set as many women up as possible with a successful business, imagine the ripple effect from them and then from them and then from them. And that's what really creates positivity and change in this world. Um, and the reaction I got and the words I got, you know, some of them were, this is why, this is why you stand out. This is why you're different from the rest. That warmed my heart because it was like yes that's that's who I am that's what I want so and I use that example and I'm not going to talk about the details of that I will do once I kind of open the doors to elevate um but I wanted to use that example to kind of show that sometimes it does go against the norm sometimes it won't earn you as much money but sometimes it's absolutely right for your values and it's absolutely right for your mission so thinking about what you do and doing things differently thinking about if you if you keep on doing the same thing and it's not working, try it differently. Try it your way. Like, what's your spin? And a lot of a lot of this comes down to bravery, and confidence and belief. Because I know a lot of us have a lot of the mindset stuff going on that prevents us from stepping out from the norm. Because staying within the norm feels safer. Because okay, if that expert is telling me to do it this way, following the, these steps. I trust that more than I trust myself. It's hard to break out of that, and I really understand that. But if you if you try that, if things aren't working, if the steps that you are following aren't working for you, try it your way. Like really think about what's your spin on this. How can you inject you and your values into this thing? Now it's not about completely rewriting and ripping things up and doing it differently it's about putting your spin and your stuff into it to make a difference because sometimes it can be the tiniest tweak that you then go ah oh, that feels better and the minute we make those changes the minutes when the minute we're more in alignment with what we're doing we get better results because it's all in the energy of it right once we're aligned the energy that we give out for the things that we're doing is so much more attractive. Like it's so much more seductive. It pulls people to us. That's when you know you're in flow. That's when you know you're fully aligned. So if you're doing stuff that's not working, and I'm not saying what you're being told is a load of rubbish, you know, it just might not be working for you yet. Don't be afraid of switching things up a little bit. Don't be afraid of doing things differently. Don't be afraid of putting your spin on it and doing some tweaks to make it more like you because the minute you do that it does help to boost your confidence anyway because you're doing it your way and it feels better and it feels like a more positive experience so really think about that because you know there's so much of the same online we need to stand out and once you find your way of doing that right that's, that's intrinsically you, like your way of doing something, and you just focus on that, and you filter out all of the other stuff that everyone else is telling you to do, and you just do it your way, that's when people stand out, 
And that's when people get really freaking good results. Like you don't get it from being the same as everybody else. Now, in the early days when you're learning, granted, you're still learning. So you kind of need to, to follow some systems and some processes and so on. That's fine. But once you're in it and you're really at a point where you can kind of test things, just try it your way and see what happens. Like you, nothing bad is going to happen through doing that. So try it your way. See what happens. See if you can switch things up. See if you can do things differently. Be a little bit creative. Never afraid to be more of you. Like turn you up. Turn the dial up on you. More of your personality. More of your values. Like really step into it. Because when you are able to do that is when you stand out. And it's when you get the good results. Thank you for listening to the show, particularly you guys who stick it out to the bitter end. I'm always appreciative of that. Now, if you enjoyed the show, I would love you to hop on over to iTunes and give me a review. Or if you're on Instagram, please go over there and share with me your favorite takeaway from this show or just where you're listening in from over on Instagram stories. And be sure to tag me so that I can respond back to you. I am at Gemma Went on Instagram. But in the meantime, I will see you in the next episode.